A popular brand of vacuum is only sold to you inside your home. And some Kirby sales representatives have come under fire for being too pushy and high pressured. Before you buy, you'll want to see what a call for action hidden camera uncovered. Here's Keith King. Mark sent you a good evening. An Overland Park couple contacted us after they called the police on a Kirby salesman. Our investigation reveals some of the secrets behind the sales tactics. Kirby Vacuums has been around for nine decades. Salespeople come into your home to get you to buy. Ben and Brittany Garber signed up for a free in home demonstration. While they invited the salesman inside their home, they never expected what happened next. It was like worse than the stereotypical used car salesman. The Garbers say the demonstration turned uncomfortable. We need to think about it, and it was like, boom, like. Something stopped. The Garbers say the salesman swore at them, even called them names. The couple ordered him to leave and called police. And I was fearful because there was this man in my house that was, you know, starting to yell at me and cuss at me. On the website, ripoffreport.com, we found over 150 consumer complaints against Kirby. Everything from high pressure sales tactics to warranty problems. We wanted to see the sales pitch in action. What makes the Kirby so good? One volunteer signed up for an in home demonstration at the Kansas City Home Show. Another volunteer called a Kirby distributor and set up an appointment. We set up hidden cameras inside their homes. In this home, the sales guy new to the job gave our volunteer a two-hour demonstration before talking price. So it's obvious then that if we could get to price in terms that were right for you, you would want one, wouldn't you? The price starts at $3,280, but the salesman throws in discounts, knocking off a thousand bucks. So this is with the shampooer? Okay. And this is without the shampooer. So which plan works out best for you? Our volunteer says she wants to think about it, so he drops the price another $400. Still no sale. The salesman continues to push. Our volunteer continues to say no several times. Because I know you're ready for it. I know you are. Yeah, I just, I, I just don't think I'm ready to make the decision today. I don't think I want to buy anything today. I mean, I just don't know that I want to make a decision today. Next, he calls his manager before being told no thanks. The salesman even offers to sell a used model for $1,200. I don't think I want to do it today. I'm sorry. Really? Yes. I'm even at $1,200? Even at $1,200. Our hidden camera investigation reveals prices can vary from customer to customer. You're watching another sales presentation. They passed a law 15 years ago. A restaurant cannot vacuum at while it's while you're eating at a restaurant during business hours unless you have a curb. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a curb law, but it's a federal law. We checked with the local health department and are told that's not true. There's no federal law requiring restaurants to use a certain vacuum. The salesman talks fast and throws a lot of information and Figures at our volunteer. So for 1380, it's only be $53 a month or $70 a month or 129 His final price for a complete vacuum system $1,580. That's $200 less than the price offered to the Garbers and $300 less than the other salesmen for the same system. This is what we would bring into the house. David Hill sold Kirby's for a different distributor for two months before leaving. He says over a wage dispute. Hill says it's common for Kirby salesmen to offer different customers different prices. We'll give you a discount for that because you were here by yourself or you got four kids, okay, we'll give you a discount. I mean, they would just pull anything out. Sales representatives can be aggressive in enforcing contracts, as demonstrated by more than 100 lawsuits we found locally by vacuum sales reps. The Garbers didn't get a vacuum. They were so upset, they sent their complaints to Kirby's corporate office. Kirby sent them a letter of apology. I just don't want this to happen to anybody else, because it was scary. That's why they're speaking out, hoping no one else is surprised by a high-pressure sales pitch. We received this response from Kirby. If a consumer chooses to welcome an independent salesperson of Kirby products into his or her home for a product demonstration, that consumer should not hesitate to ask the salesperson to leave if the consumer no longer wishes to view the demonstration. The demonstration should end at the consumer's request. The Kirby company cares about any and all consumer dissatisfaction and demonstrated that it cares by immediately addressing the Garber's complaint and mediating a resolution. You can read Kirby's full response on NBCActionNews.com. Also, tips to help you when you have a salesperson in your home and you are not really sure if you are ready to buy just yet. Wow, really interesting to watch the pressure there. And I'm wondering if consumers actually have the opportunity to change their minds. Can you 
There is that opportunity. It is a federal law. It's called the three-day cooling off period. It allows consumers three days to go ahead and cancel a purchase over $25 if they choose to do so. All right. All right. Very good, good advice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Thanks Kate. Mm -hmm.